gloves got to come off. These are no longer protests. These are riots. I know this has been beaten in the public eye for days now, but it's a really big deal, and it's getting a lot worse. Academia, you created this. I mean, what did you expect when you told kids to be outraged at, like, everything? When you, academia, academia is who I'm talking to here. You indoctrinated young minds to think that somehow their level of outrage is fake and as unjustified as it may be, that it was when these liberal universities encouraged this, and I'm sure... Some of these people may not be students. They may be paid ad... Let's not say maybe. They are ads out there to be paid agitators. But they're on campus, too. What are they doing there? Like, honestly, these professors who are supposed to be smart, how did they not see this coming? But you want to fix this? You have to make it rain consequences. Columbia kept moving back their deadline yesterday. Oh, we're double secret probation serious this time. No, you're not serious at all. And that's why they're still there breaking windows. And now you had to shut down campus. I mean, what was the litmus test for that? Because, like, face-covered adolescents mimicking Hitler's youth weren't enough? Just showing you guys how pointless your blockade is. I got in through the other entrance, and now I'm standing here. You guys want to prevent Jewish students from entering? Fine. Now we got a couple Jewish students. Are you Zionist? Yeah, of course I'm Zionist. Okay, so so you don't let Zionists in the library that I pay tuition. Please try that to me. I, I mean, like, if, if that wasn't enough, instead, you deactivated the victim's campus badges. I mean, step back just for a second. Humor me here. For, just remove Jewish from this equation. Imagine this. You're black and you can't come in this building. That happened. And Brown versus Board of Education said it can't happen. Okay, that was race-based. Let's change it to something else. Okay, let's say gay. Imagine for a minute, college campuses ban gays from entering the building that they lived in on a campus that they paid to be on. The left would have freaked out over this. I, I know how this feels. Folks, I was never vaccinated, and I got turned away from restaurants during COVID for not having a vax card. Made me feel like a second-class citizen. But academia is the left's backyard, and they are nowhere to be found. We desperately need, the country needs clear moral authority. We need the president of the United States to speak to the issue and say, this is wrong. What's happening on college campuses right now is wrong. It is un-American. It is not who we are. The president seems unable or unwilling to do that. Yeah, I mean, that sounds great, but, like, what are they doing about it? At least Mike Johnson showed up, no Biden. This is going to be the political death nail of the Democrats, I think. And they are the party that printed billions of these stupid signs. It's, oh, hate has no home here. And they had all these stupid slogans about inclusivity and all that garbage. Biden won't comment because they don't want to face the reality of what is going on here. And how do you, how do you deal with this? Like, you want to know how you have to deal with this? Texas got it right. You tell them to go home, go back to class. I don't care if you smoke weed in a corner, waste your parents' money somewhere else and do it peacefully. The rest of you can, the rest of us need to get on with our education. Otherwise, we're going to suplex you and throw you in jail. We're going to expel you. That's how they should be doing this. We are way past suspension, by the way. When you are taking over property, who do you think you are? Social justice pirates? I mean, squash this like a bug. These are students. They own nothing. Fire these teachers, too, who linked arms. Can these students put their name... Like, find these students. Find all of these students. Can them put their names on the Internet for every single future employer to see. You want to make adult decisions? You got to live by adult consequences. You send the message that you kids are not in charge and that you're on our property as the university and you will do things our way. And I'll be honest... Parents of these kids are also partially responsible for this. Because the first thing these kids are going to do is they're going to come home and cry to mom and dad, I can't believe they treated me like this. I'm a victim of an oppressive system. If that was my kid, I mean, it wouldn't be because we teach our kids history and other basic decent principles in our house. But God forbid somehow my kids went to college and did enough drugs to forget everything that I've taught them. I would tell them that when you throw picnic tables through windows, you are not the victim. Now get the hell out of my house and go get a job with your half degree that I'm not paying anymore for you to complete. It's tough love. And had many of these parents, and I, I know some of them personally, that are looking on in, like in complete horror at what these kids have become, thinking that they have been, it, it, had they been a little bit tougher in the first, I don't know, 18 years of their life, 
They might not have been as have to be as brutal now, and these kids might not be facing the problems that they just imposed on themselves. And I want to see, by the way, the same federal resources going to track down these kids and their agitators. You want to stop this? You got to attack the source. Three years after January 6th, the feds were tracking down people who weren't even at the Capitol that day for any perceived involvement. The FBI identified people for prosecution by the creases in their ears. I want that level of scrutiny on some of these agitators who threatened Jewish students. Let's start following the money, too. Arrest anyone that had any involvement in planning, paying for, otherwise being involved in any behavior that barred anyone from class or destroyed even so much as a blade of grass on these campuses. I want equal justice. Because as long as these, you know, these organizers are out there that are getting paid to do this, this is going to keep happening. And they're happy. These organizers, they, they move on to the next cause. They are happy to sacrifice our college kids for their stupid cause. This is not over, because if history is any reference, they're just warming up, because you know what? Hot dang, it's election year. That makes it protest season for the Democrats.